was the face for change. There have been more drone strikes and more innocent killed under his power than George W. Bush. Barack Obama supports this. He supports drone strikes. What does drone strikes even mean? Drone strikes means that somebody half a world away has the power to kill somebody and not even know it. There's a complete disconnect now. Before, if you wanted to kill somebody, you would have to make the conscious decision of going up to them and either stabbing them or pulling a trigger. And you would have that brief moment of morality in your head to determine whether this is right or not. The government doesn't want that. The military doesn't want that. They just want mindless yes men that will push a button whenever told. And families halfway around the world are losing innocent people. Mothers, grandmothers, children are dying innocently because someone halfway around the world decides it's like a video game and wants to kill someone. This is not right. We do not go into these places to innocently kill people and gain. If we want to be the face, if we want to be a first world nation, we have to set the example. We're not asking you to join. Just please take a moment and Google it yourself. Do the research yourself. What's going on in your own world? What's going on for the sake of your kids, your grandkids, their kids? It deserves your time more so than any sports or music can. Just Google NSA, Edward Snowden, WikiLeaks, Iraq, Iraqi files. Go on YouTube and look at the video Collateral Murder. If anybody has a phone right now, just go to YouTube and YouTube Collateral Murder and watch that video. This video is what sparks all of WikiLeaks. Google Fukushima plant. Google radioactive. Google the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. There is a garbage patch of plastic floating in the Pacific Ocean that is the size of Texas, comprised of all human objects. Just Google it. This is why we care about the environment. We care about generations to come. We do not want to destroy our parks and wildlife for more condos and more buildings and parking lots. And we as the people deserve as much say as the other people with the money. Just because they have money and their power does not mean they have a bigger voice than us. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we cover our face? It's not because we're scared. It's not because we're trying to look intimidating. It's because we're all ordinary people that have to go back to families and schools and jobs. And we do not, we want our voices heard, not our faces seen. That's why. It's not for intimidation. We're not a gang. We are educated people that have lives. But this resonates within us. It's a passion that we cannot ignore. And that's why we take time out of our school. That's why we take time out of our job to come here. Because it's passion for us. We're unemployed. We say we are employed. We have good jobs. But these issues mean something to us. And we cannot just stand idle and watch it happen.